everybody, thanks for tuning in to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to be using the selection menu to select objects in different ways. And we can use it to select similar objects. And it gives you a variety of powerful selection commands for you to use. Now, we've got our different objects here that we have. And right now they are all in a group actually. Now I can go ahead and ungroup them if I want or keep them in a group. It really doesn't matter, but I'm just going to ungroup these. So they're all single here. Now I'm going to go ahead up to our select menu. We've got a bunch of different things that we can do here. We can select all, which is going to select everything that we have on our um, in our whole project here. We can see everything basically in the layers panel. So I'm going to keep this layer layers panel open. I'm going to go to select all, and you can see that everything has been selected. You know what's selected? It's got this little uh, square on it. Indicate, indicate selected art. So that's what that square means in the, in the layers panel. So that's uh, the first thing we're going to learn is select all. Control A is the hotkey for select all. Control A. And that's something you'll want to remember because you might you'll probably be using select all a lot. So the next thing we've got is all on active artboards. If we have different artboards going on, we can select everything on the active artboard, and that way we won't be selecting everything in, in, on all the other artboards that we have. Now, if you are don't really understand what that means, you might want to check out the artboard tutorial that I had going on before. It's uh, pretty helpful. You can make new artboards and have different objects on those artboards. All right. So the next thing we've got is deselect. Shift control A. That's something you'll want to remember as well to uh in case you select something that you didn't actually mean to by accident. And I mean, you'll use that all the time. You're going to be selecting things by accident all the time. I go like this and I want to just select the circle. I mean, I just want to select the square and the polygon down there. But I accidentally also selected this. I'm just going to deselect and then start over again or something. So that's what's happening. Or if you're messing with an object, you don't need to mess with it anymore. And clicking off is going to make you click like the background or something like that. Then you're just going to want to use deselect to select nothing instead of selecting the background by accident. So there are a couple more here. Let me click on this object here, and I have it selected now. If I click Select, we've got another thing called Inverse. If I click that, it's going to select everything else other than what I had selected. So that's pretty nice if um, you just don't want to select a couple of things, but you want to select everything else. You can use that. It's quicker than going around and picking um, everything else around it. So a couple more things. We've got next object above, next object below. So uh, I will click on this polygon. We can see that it's selected over here in our layers. If I go to select and go to next object above, it's going to select the star because that is the next object above in the layers panel. If I go to select next object below, that's now we're going to now we're selecting what was below the star, which was the polygon again. Next object below again. Now we're onto the square, or the or the rectangle. I, I think I think I've called it a square a few times and not ha, haven't caught myself, but now I have. Okay, there um, are a couple other things that we probably want to go over. Um, we can select similar objects or object attributes. So if I go to select and I go to same, we can go appearance, blending mill mode, fill and stroke, we got a whole bunch of different things. Let's go to stroke weight. Now everything here has a stroke weight that is the same, so I'm able to select everything that had the same stroke weight. Five points. Let me go ahead and change the stroke weight down on this to four. I'm going to select this, I'm going to go to select, same, and I'm going to go to stroke weight, and now if I go to move this, we can see that the spiral wasn't selected because it doesn't have the same stroke weight as what, I've, what I had selected before. I'll put that back up to 5 to be OCD about it. Didn't really have to, but you can see that there are a bunch of different things that you can use to 
select there. I mean, fill color is not going to work because we have all different fill colors, um, opacities, whatever you whatever you can think of in here that you can use. The next thing we've got here is objects. And this talks about objects in the layer panels. So um, you can click all on same layers, direction handle. So let me click this square. And I'll go to select object. And I can click all on same layers to select everything that is on the same layer. If I create a new layer here, and let me put the star into that new layer. If I go ahead and select the square again, and I go to select object all on same layers, the star is not selected, as you can see, because it's not on the same layer. So you can go ahead and um, mess around with these different things. We've got clipping masks and brush strokes. I mean, we haven't gone over everything, but if you already know a little bit about it, now you know where you can select similar objects in the menu. So that's about that's all I'm going to go over about using these different selection techniques and selecting the similar objects. So hopefully you guys learn more. And I'm sure not a lot of people went up to the select menu and really checked it out too well and figured out what was up there when they were first starting out. So now you know, and now you've gone back to like some of the basics where you can help make yourself a better artist by working more efficiently using more efficient selection techniques. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. I Hope you guys join me in the next one. We're going to go over uh, how to save our selections and edit them. So everybody have a good day. See you guys later.